The new GerberCut Targets tool has been added to the construction toolbar. You can now add GerberCut print to route targets manually or automatically around your job directly in Omega. First select the object or objects you wish to place the targets around. Click on the Target tool in the Construction Toolbar to open the Targets Property Toolbar. Targets can be added manually one at a time, automatically at the four corners of the job, or automatically around the job. You can adjust the target margin around the objects and the target spacing when placing automatic targets. You can also select one of three available target types, black filled circles, inverted, meaning a black square with a white circle, or stroke circles. To place targets manually around an object, select Manual Targets in the Property Toolbar and click on the desired location on the work surface. When first placing targets, a message will appear saying that targets will be created on their own layer called Targets Layer. This is true for both manual and automatic targets. To see the targets layer, click View Show Layer Manager. You can hide all of your targets by clicking on the Hide Layer icon or delete all your targets at once by deleting the targets layer. To place targets at the four corners of an object or objects, select the Corner Targets tool in the Properties toolbar. Note that when using automatic target tools, all previous targets will be erased. You can then add more manual targets after. You can also adjust the distance of the targets to the object in the margin field. Change the number and click on the Corner Target tool again to refresh the targets. Notice that the Corner Target tool always places two targets on the lower right corner. This is to help the user identify that corner after the job has been printed. To automatically place targets around the entire job, select the Automatic Targets tool in the Properties toolbar. Remember, because you are using an automatic target tool, all previous targets will be erased. Just like with the Corner tool, you can adjust the distance from the targets to the object in the margin field. And change the spacing between targets. You can also change the target type at any time, although it is recommended that you only use one type per job. An important thing to remember when placing GerberCut targets is that all targets can be sized after they are placed on the work surface. Targets have a default diameter of 6 mm or a quarter of an inch. This is the minimum size needed to be detected by GerberCut, so it is recommended that you place your targets after the job has been scaled to its final output size.